What's happening, my curious bunch of health fanatics? Curcumin is derived from the turmeric root and is the compound that gives curries their bright yellow color. Do not confuse curcumin with cumin as they are different. Scientists have been intrigued as to why some countries that use a lot of curcumin in their cooking seem to have lower rates of cancer, with India being the prime candidate. DNA methylation is a mechanism where genes express themselves, basically genes being able to turn off or turn on, which instruct cells on how to act and function. Scientists have found that most, if not all, cases of cancer have a pre-existing condition, and that is that tumor suppressing genes are turned off. In scientific terms, and stay with me here, if methylation occurs inside the promoter regions of suppressor genes, tumors can be induced. However, lucky for us, the opposite is also true. Methylation can take place and ensure our tumor suppressor genes are turned on. So what is DNA methylation? Think of it like stop signs on some genes, preventing those genes from expressing proteins. Some proteins are great, such as collagen, but some can be used as signaling mechanisms which instruct cells to divide uncontrollably, as in cancer. So keeping genes in check is paramount for your anti-aging regime. In a brief televised study, there were three groups chosen for a curcumin trial. The first group was given a placebo, that is a fake turmeric or curcumin pill. The second group was given a turmeric pill, and the third group was given turmeric powder and asked to cook with it. The placebo group showed no change in their gene expression, and neither did the pill group. However, the group that used turmeric slash curcumin powder in their cooking showed something quite incredible. DNA meth methylation had occurred and their tumor suppressor genes were turned on, as if providing the subjects with some type of genetic anti-cancer armor. The science of why turmeric, when pressed into a pill, did not have the same effect could be because the pill took too long to dissolve inside the stomach, reducing the effect, or that cooking with turmeric made it more bioavailable for the third group. What we do know is that curcumin is a non-polar molecule, which means to you that it is hydrophobic, or basically it does not dissolve in water or neutral liquids. However, it is lipophilic, meaning it binds to fats. So when cooking with turmeric or curcumin, the cooking oils assist with absorption. However, you do not need to eat curry to do this. I use a teaspoon of coconut oil every day in a, in a coffee cup. I then add about a third of a teaspoon of curcumin powder to that oil. Coconut oil is a medium chain triglyceride, which simply means that curcumin can bind very easily for great solubility and absorption. From there, I add my coffee to the mix and drink up. This is how I get my curcumin on a daily basis and control facets of my DNA methylation. And if you are having it in a meal, then consider adding black pepper, which contains pepperoni, as this offers better absorption as well. In the very near future, you will be able to take a test to see if your suppressor genes are turned on or off and predict precancer development and make dietary changes to control them. This means we have literally entered an era where you can switch genes on or off just with food. Remember, food is medicine and food is poison, so choose your weapons carefully, as most processed foods and some animal-based products have hidden dangers and will speed up mortality. We see this clearly when analyzing methylation patterns against diet. Being able to predict cancer up to two years in advance is one of the biggest things in medical history, but you've probably never heard of DNA methylation until now. You can thank institutions like the University of College London or UCL for this groundbreaking science. Curcumin is also a potent anti-inflammatory, which appears to even reduce inflammation in arthritis. One paper from the International Journal of Clinical Practice says, curcumin significantly improved morning stiffness, walking time, and joint swelling. Whilst another study, which is a systematic review and meta-analysis from the Journal of Medicinal Food, says the results, randomized controlled trials, provide scientific evidence that supports the efficacy of turmeric extract, about one gram per day of curcumin in the treatment of arthritis, end quote. Curcumin works against inflammation by blocking various cytokines, namely tumor necrosis factor alpha, or TNF alpha. 
Pharmaceutical TNF blockers are FDA approved and are used for diseases such as osteoarthritis, inflammatory bowel disease, psoriasis, and ankylosis. However, typical TNF blockers need to be injected and may come with nasty side effects. Yet curcumin seems to be an orally available form of TNF inhibition without the nasty effects or invasiveness of injection. Always chat with your doctor about health data you see online, and I'll link to a paper about this from the British Journal of Pharmacology in the details below. Now, interestingly, turmeric slash curcumin has been associated with reducing iron levels in blood. That is because curcumin is a biologically active chelator. This just means that curcumin can bind to metal ions, which also means it can clear metals from the blood. So always chat with your doctor if you are using curcumin, especially if you have anemia or have a family history of anemia. Just ask your doctor to keep an eye on your iron levels. However, with that said, iron levels are rarely affected to any adverse degree by curcumin. But what is safer, having a reduced level of iron or a higher level of iron? What would be healthier? Well, for longevity, lower levels of iron were better for lifespan than higher levels. Remember, iron accumulates with aging and has shown to shorten lifespan across several model organisms. So keeping iron in check is paramount. A study in the journal Clinical Nutrition showed that for every one point of standard deviation increase in genetically predicted serum iron above baseline, people had an estimated 0.7 fewer years of lifespan. Do you have an iron supplement in your kitchen? Do you take turmeric or curcumin supplements? At least now you have better data to use in what to possibly take more of. So I hope this video has helped you. Remember, consider becoming a patron of this channel as we are a research company and we will be conducting the world's first mRNA human trial to rejuvenate the physiology of a 75 year old back to that of a 50 year old. Sounds crazy, I know. We will do this with clever tissue engineering techniques and mark my words, if it works, it will change human aging forever. I'll let you know much more about this exciting technology and the name of the company as things progress. Fist bump the thumbs up button and smash that subscribe button because both of those really help me with the YouTube algorithm or face the consequences of your actions. The more you can do for me, the more videos like this I will make for you. As always, visit me at www.scienceofaging.life and as always, stay young and stay vibrant.